Hi. Now, suppose you have a differential equation like this one, a multiplied by d squared y by dx squared plus b times dy by dx plus cy equals zero, where a, b, and c are constants. Then this type of equation is known as a second order linear differential equation. And this equation has a solution based on the form y equals ae to the power mx, where a is a constant. And this value m is a root of this quadratic equation, am squared plus bm plus c equals 0, where a, b, and c are the constants that we had in the equation here. And this quadratic equation is known as the auxiliary equation. Now when you're solving for m in this quadratic equation, then we should be familiar with the fact that we can have three scenarios. We could have roots that are either real and different, or they could be equal roots, or the roots are imaginary. And each one of these cases leads to different general solutions. And that's what I want to discuss here, what those general solutions would be. So let's take the first situation, when the roots are real and different. And that happens when the discriminant for this quadratic equation, the discriminant being b squared minus 4ac, that's always a positive value, greater than 0. That's going to lead to m equaling two roots, let's say m1 and m2. And the general solutions turn out to be of this particular form. Okay, That form is y equals a e to the power m1x plus b e to the power m2x where a and b are arbitrary constants. Now, let's have a look at what happens when the roots are equal. When the roots are equal, the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, is equal to 0. And that means that we get two roots which are exactly the same. Let's say those two roots for m are m1 and m1. Okay, so when we look at the general solution for this type of situation, let's just put this in again, general solutions, turn out to be of the form y equals e to the power mx, okay, multiplied by ax plus b. Again, a and b are the two arbitrary constants. And finally, we could have a situation where the roots are imaginary. And that happens when the discriminant, b squared minus 4ac, is a negative number, less than 0. And this leads to complex roots. Roots of the form m equals p plus or minus iq, where p and q are real numbers and i is the square root of negative 1. And when we get a situation like this, the general solutions of this type of equation turn out to be of the form y equals e to the power px, the real part of this complex number, all multiplied by a cos of qx plus b sine qx where a and b are again are arbitrary constants. Now I've given you these without proof, okay, but I would strongly encourage you to learn these different general solutions for these three different cases. And what you should see here is three links now to examples based on these different cases. So you might like to try them, okay, just click on the links or even go on my website examsolutions.net where you'll see not only this but links to other videos, all totally free.
Okay.